here I have some brass, some zinc, some aluminum, and some lead. I want to see what happens when I melt all of them together to see if it changes the different color because of adding the brass with the copper in it. And basically what happens if it's super brittle or what. First, I guess I'll start by mixing the zinc and the lead. It doesn't seem to easily crack or anything. It's pretty bendy, but not brittle. So now I'll add the aluminum. It will probably start to be brittle about now. Here I have a little bit of metal, aluminum, zinc, and lead, and it's still not very, it's still not brittle. You can certainly dent it, but it's not a, it's not very soft, and it's not, it doesn't seem to be cracking. Now to add the brass. After alloying lead, brass, zinc, and aluminum, I got this very brittle alloy metals that you can easily crack in half. Yeah, for some reason it turned a sort of gray after I a added all that brass to it. I'm not sure why, but it looks interesting. It doesn't exactly look like metal. Surprisingly, it's pretty hard. I mean like not too hard, but because you can scratch it with a nail, so it's less hard than iron, but I don't think you can scratch it with brass. So it's slightly harder than brass, which is surprising since I added the lead. If you want a strong alloy, don't mix these. Thanks for watching. And remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this one.